Hey guys, Thunder E here. I'm in the Kia EV6, and yes, as you see, this is a stunning vehicle. It's a crossover. I'm doing this video a little differently where I will be driving in this vehicle. We're talking about it. EV6 is a crossover um, um, electric vehicle from Kia. Uh, this has a um, 320 horsepower, 77.4 kilowatt battery, giving about 430 pounds of torque, and it is a fast vehicle, 0 to 16, like 4.6. Now, the EV6 starts at 40,000, uh, but I have the GT line that starts at 55 MSRP. And of course, if you've got those uh, EV tax credits, it will be slightly cheaper wherever you are. So, which, which is cool. But this car is great. It's got some really nice clean lines. It looks stunning outside. Uh, it's one that it grabs everyone everyone's attention. Everyone who's seen this car has gone like, dude, that's an awesome looking car. It looks very futuristic. And for its price point, that is just something you want. Uh, you've got 20 inch rims uh, on the car. The car looks really good. And of course your EV charger port is on the right rear hand side of the car. We'll talk about that when we get there. When you step into this vehicle, as you sit down, you've got these kind of racing bucket seats that feel really comfortable. Um, and uh, they feel really nice. Now somebody's trying to call me here. Uh, and as you drive right in front of you, you've got your Kia wheel that has drive modes which you can switch between eco sports normal and there's also like winter as well snow as well but this drive modes really give you help extend the battery but also uh give you a very different feel while driving i really like the fact that they're there because you can definitely take advantage of this car now in front of you as I'm driving, I have a heads up display, which is great. I also have two 12.3 inch uh, displays, one in front and of course a touch towards my right. And below that is where something we've seen, some people complain about, we have this kind of touch um, responsive di digital uh, display that cycles between media and of course environmental controls. Do I hate it? No. Is it something that I wish they had done a better job at it so I don't have to cycle through? Yes, but also I do have media controls directly here on my steering wheel. Now the center console here in the middle is where you have the power button, which is kind of weird, but I do like it because it's right by your fingertips. And then you have the heating and cool seat controls of the car. Uh, your dial wheel here, your cup holders, and then you've got a um, wireless charger. It's a car in front of me here. You've got a wireless charging pad that will charge your uh, smartphone up to the size of a Galaxy uh, S22 Ultra. Underneath is a massive bin. I like it though because it's great for storage. Then you've got two USB ports, USB A, USB C, but they also two more at the back of each seat. Oh, sorry, the side of each seat, to be correct, there, which allow the passengers at the back to charge your devices, but also the passengers in the front if this wireless charger is used and you don't want to lean all the way back here. So that's actually nice. Seats are really comfortable. You've got carbon fiber on the very top here. And I think the lines are just really nice interior wise. Plus you've got like accent lines all around, especially at night when you're actually driving. Now the back seats have a lot of space. So I'm 6'2", sitting in the back, I feel like I have enough space to feel comfortable while sitting there. Plus I can lean back as well. So that makes it that, you know, I don't have to feel like I'm stuck or I am in a crowded position. The trunk, on the other hand, is massive. Because this is a crossover, you do have a lot of trunk space, uh, so I can jump right out, and I, honestly, it's, it's good to have that kind of space in the trunk. Uh, now, the trunk itself, honestly, let's just not talk about it. It is small, it doesn't have a lot of space in there, and it doesn't feel like something that I would recommend you throwing anything in there. It's really not worth it to put anything in your front. Now, the overall driving experience of this car is really, really nice. I've really enjoyed driving this car everywhere. And also again, look, gas prices are super high, right? Um, so I've taken advantage of having an EV, being able to drive where I wanna go and use that pretty well. Now, let's talk about the infotainment display and what we get with that. Honestly, it's a solid experience. You've got access to your maps, which you can easily find your EV charge stations by just basically, this is an option right there that shows you all the charge stations around you. You've got your Kia Connect, so you can actually connect. It's a voice assistant, which 
I honestly didn't really try because I didn't see the need for it. Um, and of course you can change the sound controls. You hear it like the sound of the car, um, which you can change the sound on a regular basis uh, to whatever you want. So that's an option that's also there. The heads up display is cool though, because it's got augmented reality and it doesn't just point left to right. It gives you augmented control saying you look via right, via left or turn right or left, whatever the case may be. So you can always be on the road. Sound system is from Meridian. The sound pretty good. Um, and of course you've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So if you use that as well, that's also a plus. Now, what about charging the vehicle? So your charge port is on the right hand side of the vehicle towards the rear. Uh, you can open it in the car. You can also tap and open up and I'm at 150 kilowatt charging station, Electrify America. Now, right now it says from 39% to to 80% will take about 15 minutes. It says 18, but now it's about 15 minutes or so. So uh, this car will fast charge to 80% pretty quick. Now, this is something with EVs that I'm just not used to. The fact that I have to spend 15 minutes just waiting for this car to actually get to a full charge is, again, an interesting experience. And I think um, talking to Super Saf, who has a, a Tesla, uh, one of the things he, he just kind of reminded me is like a lot of people do charge at home. So this is for, you know, top ups that you need, especially for long road trips. But with 320 miles, uh, what have I gotten within this week? Now, the reason I'm charging is because I want to show you. I am down to about 111 miles uh, and I've been using this for a week. I started off at around 300 miles or so. And one of the benefits, of course, you do have regenerative braking, which you have four different levels. You've got, and you use the paddle shifters to actually change that. Um, and I've kept it on three, which is the second highest, of course. Uh, and the reason why I like that is because it does add quite a bit to your, uh, you know, your, your battery, gives you a little bit more as you move forward. I don't like the fourth one just because it's more, uh, you know, it's like intelligent braking, does most of, the, like most of the braking for you, which I'm not too comfortable with. But you know, that actually adds to the experience. I've really enjoyed this car thoroughly. I mean, I, there's nothing wrong I can say about the car. I would say that I'm not a big fan of its crossover height. The crossover feel is great for the car, but I wish this was an SUV. It kind of reminds me of SUV it looks like. So I'm sure we'll see an electric SUV from Kia, but I've thoroughly enjoyed this experience. The interior, the feel, Everything in this car is pretty solid. The drive has been great. And this is kind of leading me uh, more into checking out more EVs as well. So honestly, we'll see. And my system kind of just went off here. Um, uh, it, you know, it turned off. But anyway, you get the idea here. And I think a lot of people will definitely enjoy this. So if you guys want to see more videos about electric vehicles, let me know. Definitely go check out uh, my TikTok channel and my Instagram because I have some more real showing just different aspects of the car as well. But honestly, this has been a fun experience. So uh, don't forget to like, share, guys, subscribe, and let me know what you think about more electric car vehicles. I'll try and make them for you. Otherwise, I'm going to chill here, relax, and just uh, lean back while my car is charging. Bye.